This fort, on a ridge to the north of Portsmouth, is part of a defensive shield constructed in the 1860s, and it's about to take on a new role. For years, Fort Nelson, abandoned and overgrown, kept its secrets hidden beneath brambles and bracken. But now at last, it's being restored, and the extraordinary story of one of the last forts built in Britain can be put together for the first time. In the 1850s, relations with France deteriorated when she produced new potent warships like La Gloire and developed the naval base of Cherbourg. The British response was to upgrade the forts guarding the western approaches to Portsmouth and to build four sea forts straddling the eastern approach. But France had a huge army and it was feared that a sizable French force might land to the east and attack Portsmouth from the landward side. To prevent this, Portsdown Hill was fortified with a line of six forts, and the Gosport Peninsula was defended by another line of forts. 
the fire from these forts overlapped to provide a protective ring around Portsmouth. The forts were never attacked, and by the time they were completed, many people considered them already obsolete. So they became known as Palmerston's Follies, after the Prime Minister who built them. In 1978, the Ministry of Defence abandoned Fort Nelson. By this time, it was badly neglected and overgrown. The fort was bought by Hampshire County Council, which embarked on an extensive programme of restoration. As the undergrowth was stripped away, the fort's enormous potential became clear. First, as a fascinating place in its own right, but second, as home for the hundreds of historic artillery pieces in the care of the Royal Armouries, the National Museum of Arms and Armour in the Tower of London. When the restoration work is eventually complete, Fort Nelson, a classic example of artillery fortification, will be home to guns from the 15th century onwards, forming one of the best collections of artillery anywhere in the world.